everyone, I'm Miss Gianna. Where? I'm missing some. What? What do you mean he's not here? Okay. Well, then I guess it's just me. Hi everyone, my name is Miss Gianna. Welcome to Awesome Announcements, which I am doing completely by myself today because apparently Mr. Matt is not here. Oh well. I have two things to tell you guys today. The first one is a reminder. We are so close to doing our challenge card draw for April. We were gonna do it this week, but Mr. Matt is not here. So we're going to do it next week. Make sure you guys get your challenge cards in. You can fill them out either going online with the QR code and sending me a picture, or you can hand them to your leaders and your leaders will get them to me. And guys, it's really important you guys make sure you put your first and last name on your challenge cards. Because I don't know if you know this, but we have a lot of kids in children's ministries and sometimes you guys share names. So I don't want any mix-ups when we're doing the draw for the winners. So make sure you put your first and last name on your card when you submit it. And then the other thing I have to tell you guys today is, if you have your offering, make sure you give that in right now. We're still collecting money for our River's Edge Camp project, and all of our offering will be going to them between April all the way to the end of June. So we have lots of money to collect and lots of cool projects to do at River's Edge, and our offering money is gonna be doing some amazing things for God's kingdom. So again, make sure you've given it in, and if you're bringing it in person because you watch online, you can bring it to our reception desk and make sure you tell them it's for me, Miss Gianna. And that's all I have to say to you guys today. It's really short when Mr. Matt's not here, apparently. So we'll see you next week for the pizza draw, and we'll have Mr. Matt back then, I promise. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. My name is Milana. And I'm Tara. Today, I brought something super fun that goes along with our story today. Oh, really? <laughs> what did you bring? Guess what? Ta-da! Guess what it is? Looks like I made a game for you to play with me, Milana. You want to try it? It's a blindfold. I'm not sure. Um, how do you play the game? It's super easy. You put on the blindfold, okay? Okay. So you can't see anything. Okay. That's the whole point of blindfold, right? Yeah. Okay. And then, then I'm going to give you this marker here, okay? And you'll try you know to not... finish. A, a drawing <laughs> okay. without seeing anything in front of you. Oh, that does not sound super easy. Well, you said this game was super easy. Let's try it. Don't worry. Okay. I'm sure okay. you'll do awesome. Let's Just try this. Trust me. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll tell you what to do. Oh, okay. Man, Here's your marker. Okay. okay. I'll let you take the lid off. Okay. Okay. Here. I'll take the lid. Oh, thank you. Okay. Okay, boys and girls. Okay. Okay. Okay, ready? Yes. Here we go. Put the marker on the board, okay? On the left-hand side, you're gonna draw a tree with fluffy leaves with an extra branch. With an extra branch, okay. Okay, and on the bottom, from the left to the right, you're gonna draw some grass. Okay. A line across the bottom. Okay. okay. Doing good. Okay, now on the bottom, you're gonna draw a tent. Okay. Tent. Okay. <laughs> you might want to put a door and a window on the tent. Okay. Okay. Uh, put a zipper. <laughs> zipper? Sure. Zipper? Okay. Okay. And on the right, upper right, okay. you're gonna draw a sun. Oh, I can do with that. With little sun rays coming off of it. Awesome. <laughs> oh, okay, boy. you can take your blindfold off. That's all we have. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> I think you did really well. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, that was not as easy as you said it was going to be, but you know, I see how this has to do with our story today. It does. Yeah. I think we should check out our story and see how this ties in. Okay. Okay. Let's check it out. All right. We'll be right okay. back. Stories of the Bible. Paul. This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. And he would even seek to murder them. Saul 
Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way, and as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city, and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again. And with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt, and he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters, but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. This is one of my favorite stories in the Bible. He had to follow God's directions without even really knowing where he was going. Kind of like this game we played. Matt, God works in really cool ways. True. I don't think anyone would have guessed that Saul could be anything but mean to Christians. He was hunting them down and throwing them in prison. I know. And that wasn't God's plan for Saul at all. What a journey Saul went on. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what it must have felt like to meet Jesus, lose your eyesight, get sent on a trip when you couldn't see a thing all in one day? <sighs> wow. I would have been pretty freaked out mm -hmm. if that were me. I know that me much. Me too. But in the end, Saul met Ananias and accepted Jesus. Saul was filled with the Holy Spirit when he became a friend of Jesus. You know, you might know him by another name, Paul. Mm. That's the other name he went by. And he actually became one of the greatest teachers in the Bible and helped a lot of people know Jesus themselves. And Paul couldn't have done all that without the Holy Spirit. Oh, no. no. When we believe in Jesus and ask him to forgive our sins, he saves us. And then we receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit fills me. That's our bottom line for today. Oh, yeah. The Holy Spirit fills me. Let's say it together. The, the Holy Spirit, Spirit fills me. When Paul received the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit changed Paul on the inside by giving him gifts oh. he could use for God. And the same goes for us. When we follow Jesus, we receive the Holy Spirit who gives us special gifts to serve God. That is awesome. Hey, that reminds me of our Bible verse. It actually is two this two month verses. all together. Mm -hmm. Let's stand, stand up, up and let's say it together. There, there are different, different kinds of gifts, gifts but they, they are all given, given to believers by the same Spirit. There are different ways to serve, but the same God is working in all these ways and in all people. 1 Corinthians 12, 4, 5. Good job. Okay, let's all say it again. Okay, ready? There are different kinds of gifts, but they are all given to believers by the same Spirit. 
There are different ways to serve, but the same God is working in all these ways and in all people. 1 Corinthians 12, 4 and 5. Good job. You can sit down. You know, these verses are great because they remind us that God gives every person who follows him a special gift that's to be used to serve God. So true. Just like Paul did. Mm -hmm. Thanks for playing that game with me earlier, Moana. I had a lot of fun. Even though I'm not a great drawer, I did too. <laughs> Thanks for coming to see us today, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.
was meant.